Hi Aries, this is going to be a reading from the 9th through the 15th of October. We'll be dealing with your past, your present, your future and I'll also be specifically pulling out a card for your person right here. Let's see what's going on right there. And if this resonates with you, own it and leave down a comment with any one question down below. I love it when you guys do that and I'll be reading for you guys by myself. So Aries, Aries please. Thank you. The Knight of Cups, the Temperance card, the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Swords. Lots and lots of new opportunities right here for you, Aries, which is a beautiful energy because there are so many new things that you can choose to do during this time. So for your past right here, I've got the Knight of Cups. The Knights are, you know, not as great energies as the uh, Kings, but the Knights represent a very charming a joyful and a lively energy right here I can see that in your past you have been very charismatic you have been very passionate about something and you really were driven for uh, you know to, to just to achieve something to attain something uh, but we will be drawing our clarification cards so I can you know clarify all of this what's going on right here for your present uh, we've got the temperance card now the temperance card talks about balance and balancing the black and white um, you know sometimes balancing your mind and your heart let's see what this is about but and for your future i've got the ace of cups right here for you guys now and as well as for your person i've got the ace of swords so two aces in one reading would mean a lot of new opportunities new paths opening for you guys new doors opening for you guys and with the ace of swords right here for your person um, this may or may not be somebody who is new in your life because this seems like somebody uh, who projects their energy towards you who inspires and aspires you to become somebody else that you were not and this is a beautiful energy right here for your person but let me just clarify okay so for aries please for the past energy please past energy nice i've got the justice card the four of swords and the eight of pentacles okay Aries in your past I feel like I mean at least you felt that there was something that you were cheated by you were wronged by somebody and all of your creative energy that you had all of your lively energy that you had which was going on for you in the past right here was cheated on so in your past what happened was that there was somebody who came into your life and this sort of sucked out the lively and beautiful energy out of you and they left you empty feeling awakened and that vacuum in your heart which is i think not a good feeling to have because it's one of the worst feelings to have in fact and uh, because of that you were not able to operate and you were not especially able to operate when you were at a job or working for something because your creative energies were extremely low and your charisma um, and you know your will to just live life the zest to live life that was sucked in by that person and they just left you like that in your past but let me tell you that whatever happened that person is going to face their karma with the justice card card right here and the universe has seen what has happened with you and they will serve you with the justice as well right here aries because what i can see here is that in your present we've got the temperance card now the temperance card is telling me that whatever has happened in your past you are now in the present trying to balance it which is a very good sign Aries that because uh, you know most of us when uh, someone betrays us, us someone cheats on us for a long long period of time we are uh, in a state of denial and when we come out of the state of denial then we are in that stage where uh, you know we just don't want to live life for a long period of time but that is not what is happening with you guys you have you know just crossed that denial stage that just didn't happen with you guys which is amazing you directly went into a stage where you wanted to solve things for your life because you are a very lively person Aries and you're a driven person as we all know Aries are driven and they go for whatever they want so uh, that is a very beautiful sign let me clarify the temperance card right here for you in your present for Aries please 
Aries. Thank you. The Queen of Pentacles. The King of Cups. The Three of Pentacles. <laughs> you guys, <laughs> there's going to be a very interesting situation that is going to come up for you guys because what is going to happen very soon in your present is that whoever this was in your past would want to come back and uh, you know there side by side there's going to be another person in your life which has already entered who is this beautiful person who would want to make you happy and you know who would who would recognize that there was somebody who has done all of this to you so you are not really at your best right now but they would still want to love you at least start something new with you uh, giving it a chance uh, but this past person would again want to come into your life and what is going to happen is that it is going to confuse the hell out of you Aries because right now in your present you are not completely healed uh, by what was done to you in the past you still carry the baggage especially not being able to trust anybody but what is going to happen is that that person will come back and you know they will try to sway you again away and they would uh, they would uh, you know tell you that whatever happened in the past was all their mistake and they would not repeat and you know the typical things that people say when they come back after uh, you know <laughs> uh, screwing everything up but just be cautious because somebody who has made you feel like that uh, I mean just keep in mind whether they deserve a second chance or not because you will at one point you will be in a situation where you'll be like what to choose now this person or this person because you are not currently involved with either of these two this person is somebody who has potential in your past and this person is somebody who was with you in the past but they left you uh, feeling vacant and uh, that vacuum in your chest so you will have a choice to make in uh, in present in the present situation if you're not there yet then it will be coming to you soon if these, this reading is, is resonating with you guys so let me just clarify the ace of cups right here and these two people are also very two different people you guys they are not similar people uh, the ones you have to choose between because they one of them operate solely by their mind one of them operates solely by their heart you know better who is what but yeah for your future you've got the ace of uh, for the ace of cups you've got the four of cups the nine of pentacles the five of swords okay so by the looks of it i uh, i think that the person who operates with their mind with the logical mind is uh, going to win in this situation for you because uh, I think that you are definitely done with listening solely to your heart because the heart sometimes lead us to you know giving too much in a situation and not putting ourselves anywhere in that picture we just think of that person that we love and because of which sometimes we get betrayed because that person if we are putting ourselves second then that person also starts putting us second so you maybe are bored of that situation you really do not want to uh, now deal with your heart you want to put in some mind at least and so whoever is, uh, this person is for you who seems practical to you uh, and and at least is doing what they're saying their actions are matching their words you will be choosing that person in the very near future right here although it's going to be very very difficult for you there might be some sleepless nights you know overthinking of all sorts because this is uh, an important decision for you because this person is really really connected to you there's this seed of love for both of these people but just choose wisely but what I can see right here is that the logical mind is winning over your emotional heart. Let me just clarify the Ace of Swords right here for you guys. Ace of Swords, please. For their person. For their person. Ace of Swords. Okay. We've got the Three of Cups. Didn't we already get this? Three of Cups confusing the king of pentacles five of pentacles all right so Aries what is going to happen is that this person I can now in 
a hundred percent assurance tell you that the person who's a more logical person is going to win in this war in your mind because I don't know if this person is from your past or your present person but just I mean that's the energy that I'm getting that the person who you know uh, gives you actions more than words is going to be winning and uh, with this king of pentacles right here I can tell you that that person is a driven person they are no one who takes anything for granted uh, and you can think of a future with them because this is a very serious person they do not play uh, with anyone's emotions and they uh, definitely don't play around the bush so everything that they will be doing will be upfront and right in front of you so it will be very 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 easy it gets easy for you to decide in that situation and what is going to happen is that because uh, this person will also get to know about this past situation there are going to be times when they will feel left out they will feel that whatever has happened in your past that has come back in your life and now they will feel very very insecure they'll feel like you will choose to go back and because you know uh, it's you who has to decide about your life but this person is very much involved with your life and being in their shoes I can understand that if if somebody fro from from uh, my person's past come back their ex comes back then it, it gets like really insecure for a person as we all know so it's going to be a difficult time for them as well and um, if 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 this person is if you choose the person from your past then also they will have a difficult time you know accepting the fact that they left you but you you know that you allowed somebody else to be near you so it's going to be a difficult time for this person whom you are choosing by the way in your past so I think this person is also going to be after everything has been sorted they believe in togetherness they believe in openness and transparency so they are going to give you that space where you can you know bloom and let this relationship bloom okay so there are choices to be made right here Aries and I, I hope and I'm sending you great energies where you can you know choose wisely because this is a big decision for you that's what I have for you and I hope I was able to sort whatever questions there were in, in your mind if not you can leave a question down below and I'll see you very very soon bye bye